Hello everybody, I'm Andrea Pivesana, founder of openindustry.it from Pacino di Pordenone, Italy. We are near Venice. I've been working for 25 years with many Italian furniture makers, expression of Italian style. To connect 3D CAD of kitchen, bathroom, living room with DRP. My experience is related to product configurators, make to order manufacturing, whereas management, logistic. Today, we also present with Loris Tissino the new version of the 3D warehouse location view based on 3JS that now support multi warehouse. Last year, in an OCA sprint at Polo Technology with Pordenone, Italy, we worked on product 3D view with Davide Corio, Matteo Boscolo, Rumbel Tonetto, Marcelo Frare and others. The first goal was to find a standard format for 3D, the second have a viewer with a good rendering. A demo was developed using 3GS loader for STL model. This year, in May, during the COVID lockdown, we found the Google model viewer and we decided to develop a widget to use the model viewer text inside the do backend and frontend. In the backend product form view, a new tab visualizes the 3D model with the full screen option. In the front end e commerce, if a product has a 3D model, the widget visualizes it instead of the image. Lorenzo Battistini, CEO of Tacobi.online and maintainer of the OCA Italian localization, developed the widget, the product 3D page, and the website e commerce 3D view. This is a desktop demo to show you what we are talking about. The product is, a, as example, is the Emes Lune Chair designed in 1956 by Charles and Ray. This now is the e-commerce page. You can rotate, zoom, make it full screen, the view, and turning back to the normal view. This is the Odoo e-commerce page. So, also for the mobile, at the left side you see the backend view of the product and the right side the e-commerce view. The, the first uh, thing that we are talking now is the model that also Google decided to use, this is GLTF. In the chronos.org website you can find a lot of documentation and um, GLTF means Graphical Language Transmission Format. Now there is version 2. GLTF is a reality-free specification for the efficient transmission and loading of 3D scenes and models by application. GLTF minimizes both the size of 3D assets and the runtime processing needed to unpack and use those assets. Last version was 2.0 presented in June 2015. GLTF is the definition of a transmission format for 3D scenes. The scene structure is described with the JSON file, which is very compact and can easily be parsed. 3D data of the objects are stored in a form that can be directly used by the common graphic API. Each object, uh, each node, has a base color, metalness, roundness, reflective, diffuse color, specular color, glossiness, lots of uh, graphic uh, attributes. The 3D tool player that work with the GLTF are 3D Max, Blender, Maya, SolidWorks, SketchUp. Software player, I want to mention Adobe, Microsoft, Facebook, WordPress. 
and software uh, library developer Babylon JS, 3JS, Qt, and partner that use this information Shopify, that uh, the model of the chair that we see before is uh, from Shopify, Continental, Ikea, and many others. Electronic games. Uh. So to make a, a simple photo of the format, the format uh, GLTF is uh, well defined, and you can find all the information in the chronos.org slash GLTF website. Well, they talk about shin, node, mesh, camera, skin, materials, texture, animation, and many other information. We want to, uh, to show you some information about uh, how this is possible and why the 3D rendering now is, is uh, so easy. There is a work that started uh, many, many years uh, ago. Maybe at the beginning is uh, the VR ML project in 1994. That uh, after many years uh, developed in WebGL 1.0 in 2011 and WebGL 2.0 in 2015. The browser now, all the browser now supports WebGL. That means that you use the graphical processing unit to transform the graphic information and uh, it is uh, very, very fast uh, to render. 3GS is a JavaScript library used by Google Model Viewer and we use it also to make the 3D view for the browser. And now is the current version is uh, 120 and there are a lot a lot of uh, information in the GitHub uh, this open source. So 3GS is open source, Google Model Viewer is open source and also the format is uh, royalty free and open source of the GLT format and so on. This is the page of uh, model viewer uh, is modelviewer.dev uh, version one started this year and uh, there is anyway uh, there is other example like the GitHub uh, Don McCarty uh, that uh, developed also another three GLTF viewer. So the three add-ons uh, that uh, are open source you can find in the OCA uh, project in three different uh, projects. And uh, the browser, uh, another uh, fundamental information that you need uh, um, a recent browser to be able to visualize the 3D model. And because for Chrome, the 3D and the, the augmented reality capability started from version 81. And iPhone 5, Firefox from version 76. Also, Safari started to work with the version 12. This year, uh, Google, uh, Google uh, as a model viewer, recently uh, realized an editor with the configurator capabilities. You can upload a GLTF model, modify the colors, the texture, the, the metallic factor, the rootness, rootness factor and then save it. So it's uh, very interesting this. Google is working a lot on this project. If you don't have a GLTF uh, model, you can convert from other formats. Uh, first of all, I want to mention Blender that from version 2.80, you can import and export in GLTF format. GLB is uh, the binary version of the GLTF format. We used 
to upload uh, in the Odoo application the GLB format that is um, much more compact. Uh, anyway, uh, we want to recommend to use uh, very short animation if you need, max 10 seconds, not more than 100,000 polygon and textured uh, not too big, uh, max uh, 2048. So, otherwise we can buy the a GLTF model. Sketchfiber.com is uh, one website that where you can find a lot a lot of models. Uh, as example in the in this slide uh, you can see the Italian old Fiat Punto GT that now is in discount, 15% discount. But uh, there are a lot a lot of models. In this live session I want to show you some example, two, three, four products. Uh, first of all, the Imes lounge chair that uh, you see before. In this case, uh, we go to the 3D the model tab. This is the product. You can rotate, zoom, view full screen. As you can see, there are lots of details. Um, the model is fast to render and very good. This is about 5 megs. This one. If we go another model, let's go to the mixer. The 3D model is this. Is this okay? If we publish um, in the e commerce, this is the product in e-commerce view, the same, you can view in the same way. And uh, <coughs> if we, we select uh, um, a chair in this example, there is not uh, a model. If you want to publish, you see only the, the picture. We go back and we go to the 3D model, we edit, we modify, we select the model, the GLB model, we save. So this is the, the Barcelona chair. We go to the website and now on the website there is the 3D model. Okay? This is another example of 3MAX, more or less. This is a bigger example. This car is about uh, 89 max. In this example, you can see the details are very good. And also the render is, is fast. Next session uh, is for query and answer. Okay. Next step that we want to realize are uh, augmented reality for smartphone, Android smartphone, and also iPhone. Apple with Pixar developed another uh, format that is uh, UDSZ but uh, to use with the uh, augmented reality. You can convert from GLTF to this format uh, and uh, in future release we, uh, we will uh, enable also the augmented reality with Android and iOS. Thank you. Uh, and uh, in this slide, uh, you can see uh, the reference of uh, Andrea Piovesana and Lorenzo Battistini. So the Telegram address and also the email.
and the website. We then we now follow with a, um, a small demo of uh, the three modules and after a query and answer session for you. Okay. Hi, Andrea. Thank you very much for this presentation. Ciao. So we are now live for this Q&A session. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. So we have um, a question from Nebil, who is asking how to create a 3D picture or model. Can you explain us? Yes, you, you need a, um, a 3D CAD. So uh, with a 3D CAD, you can save a 3D format. And uh, using Blender, as an example, you can convert uh, from any format to GLTF. GLTF is a format uh, standard, not uh, royalty-free. You have no pay for nothing. Uh, and you can so convert a user. There is also Scanner 3D that can transform uh, an object to a 3D model. You have to... Uh, to make some operation to make it not so easy, so too, too much uh, information in the model. Uh, because now uh, the chair that you have seen before was five max, so not so big, uh, but uh, uh, there, there are a lot of details. I think that the, the better way is to go also in a market, so you can find in the market and and buy some models. Otherwise, you have to pay somebody to, to make the models for you if you don't have a, a technical office. Okay, thank you for this answer. Uh, we have another question. So, where can the audience find the information of how to implement uh, this? We, we say that um, we <coughs> We have three uh, apps that you can find in the OCA uh, repository, and they are all free. Uh, you can install and uh, use it in your uh, in your system. Okay, so they could use this functionality for free. For free, yes. Interesting. Also, I think that the e-commerce is a big market with. Uh, with this new functionality, it's like uh, when there was the, uh, the TV in black and white. Now we mm -hmm. have a color TV and maybe tomorrow a 3D TV. But uh, so uh, use a, a 3D model that you, you can visualize, move, uh, rotate, zoom. Uh, it's uh, very nice to understand better what uh, you have to buy. So I think that uh, this is. Uh, functionality uh, that is uh, sure of the future. Okay, so this functionality will really disrupt the e-commerce market. Yes, in the future, sure. Okay, thank you. Uh, then we have a question from Stefano. Uh, so, is it possible to define a fallback image to be shown in the case that the functionality is not supported by the browser the user is using? Uh, yes, I think so. Let's say that uh, today is uh, everybody update the, the browser. Uh, the browser that uh, has this functionality is uh, in this year, but I think that everybody update. So this is the future. You can use a browser of uh, three years ago. You use the browser that are uh, normal today. Okay, so normally the, the situation shouldn't happen that the... Yes. the okay. Okay, well, thank you. Um, do you want to add something? We don't have more questions. I, I would suggest you to try. Uh, I, in the video, uh, there is a demo with that chair um, in Barcelona. That uh, you can upload like a picture, so it's very easy. Uh, when you install the widget and the product, uh, 
that is the widget. You can go like a picture, uh, like when you, like, uh, when you do upload a, a picture of the product, you can upload the, the 3D model of a product. And so you can visualize, rotate the screen, and it's very easy. You can use it uh, for commercial, but also for um, production. Uh, you can maybe make an engineering to order a product. You, you have a card inside the, the, your uh, company, and you can take the, the, the image and uh, memo the uh, 3D model, and uh, also in the car, uh, with all the workers can uh, understand better visualizing the product, how it is done, uh, and uh, the, uh, all the particular of the product. So, uh, this can be the product, uh, all the product, or also a single part, uh, a single part of the product. Okay, so we advise everybody to try it. Um, Yes, I think that uh, we can make a, a big work also in the, in the, for the people to understand how to make a product, uh, as example. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the extraction to understand how to do, there is a lot of uh, work in this way. Okay. okay, understood, thank you. Uh, we had someone reacting uh, about the, um, the the model and the creation of the 3D picture. Uh, and he, I think you answered it, but just to be clear, so did you use 3GS for CAD purposes as well? 3GS is, um, is used by uh, the model viewer. It is a Google uh, component that used 3GS. But uh, okay. we don't use it. We, we did uh, um, a component to visualize STL model. Uh, it means uh, not so uh, rendering, so real, uh, so good rendering, but it's uh, uh, for technical users. But uh, okay. it's okay. 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 Thank you. So, uh, Marcelo just asked, so how about augmented reality? How does it work? This means that you can use uh, the e-commerce uh, and uh, take uh, uh, with uh, your uh, smartphone, mm -hmm. open the camera and see the product inside your uh, room. So it's uh, very interesting for uh, some interior designer or other kind of work where you want to to see the product that you have to buy or that you have to use inside your space. Mm -hmm. This is very interesting and um, we are working now to make it possible with uh, okay. This is, uh, as I presented before, in the next future that we are working for. And we are looking forward. So, yes. we don't have any more questions, Andrea. So, I think we'll end now the Q&A session, except if you have something else to add. No, oh, I think that uh, if you go in the store and you write 3D, you find a lot of uh, application that we did. Uh, so, you can use Udo also to, uh, to use a 3D view for products, for a warehouse, and uh, maybe tomorrow something else. Bye. Okay. Thank you for watching, and thank you for this very good presentation, Andrea. And have all, have all a good audio experience. Thank you. Bye. Ciao.